Yeah, and then after she joined, like I said, we came in contact with uh, with uh, Bjorn and uh, Kato that she had been playing with them in the band called Lucy Fear uh, since, uh, <laughs> since she left uh, the band the first time. So, um, and then I called Paul, the second guitarist who was a friend of mine for a long time. We shared rehearsal rooms and, uh, you know, like since years ago when he was playing with, with our bands. Uh, we come from the same city and or same town, school town, rather. So we, uh, we knew, uh, knew each other kind of well. Uh, so it was, um, and through, uh, through all this we, uh, got, we got our bass player, Andre, in the end. And it took pretty much three months for the whole thing to be complete. And, um, and we've been together ever since. So uh, the only th uh, only thing now on this tour we are using a, a, a session drummer because our drummer just started a new job, so he um, you know he's in the middle of uh, learning things and so he, he was unable to, to do this tour. So we we use a good friend of uh, of Bjorn Erik, our guitarist from uh, from uh, he's from Poland but he's uh, studying here in London. Right. And he went to the same music school as Bjorn, so cool. they knew each other from them. So, and uh, yeah, so. Yeah. You uh, touched earlier on the subject of the uh, bands with female singers. Uh -huh. and do you think that obviously that was a trend over the last few years with these kinds of bands? Do you think that they helped trail tours get more attention? Even if they're not. Um, I don't know, it's hard to tell because I think. Um, we have uh, we have not much in common with bands like that. I mean, the the thing is that we we are often compared to bands that when I when I hear it, I I just like I'm like why? Because yeah. it makes no sense to me. Right. And it's like for example to compare Trail of Tears to the new Serenia, for example, is for me like comparing. Cradle of Filth to Mayhem. It's two different things. It's like okay, they have we have female singers and orchestrations and a huge, uh, huge sound, but uh, you know it's completely different. And just to use an example, because um, we hear those things all the time, and I think it, it's kind of saddens me in a way that people aren't able to separate those things, you know, without saying anything bad against those bands because I'm, I'm not trying to take away anything from those bands. Yeah. I'm just saying that we are vastly different, you know? And it's, uh, it puzzles me a lot that people aren't able to see that or hear that. But um, whether or not uh, uh, a lot of other bands have created more attention for us, I don't know if it, it's, that's possible. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's very possible. I don't know. It's. Uh, it's hard to say. Hard to say because it's like you see more and more bands every day popping up. So it's uh, the competition is not exactly getting smaller. You know, it's there's just more and more bands. So I think it's in a way harder today to gain attention from people because you have you are competing with so many bands. And you see it like also now when when we're out touring, you know, there is there are bands playing in every street corner, yeah. in every city, in every day of the week, yeah. and it's it's hard sometimes. But uh, so it could go both ways. I don't know. It's a uh, it's not a simple it's not a simple thing to answer. Uh, Trail of Tears has been around for a long time now, over a decade, and uh, have you, you haven't released any uh, live DVDs or CDs. No. Have you ever considered doing that? Yeah, we have considered to uh, to do that, but um, it's all about money, basically. And um, it's been also for us the same thing with videos, you know, like just music videos. Because yeah. we, if we want to do something like that, we want to do it. Properly. Really well. Yeah, we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to have a crappy three-camera production thing. We want to have it good, you know. And uh, 
same thing with, with a video. So, I mean, for me, the whole point with a video is to attract people to the band, not to scare them away. And that's what 90% 90, 90 of all metal bands are doing because they have the same perform in their basement kind of performance videos, you know, that are made by a, you know, amateur camera. And there are very few good metal videos, I think. And also the same thing with, uh, with DVDs. And when you see the good DVDs, they're really good. So it seems a lot, a lot of times to me that it's like either this or that, you know, it's like either really good or completely embarrassing. That's a good picture. And we don't have to be like up there, but uh, if we're going to do a DVD, uh, I would like to have a decent budget, and uh, you know, the, then we need to have the right funding for that. And uh, it's not getting easier to put it like that because uh, you know you need to get that money from somewhere, and when bands aren't selling albums anymore, then it's really hard. So. So, but uh, it's something that we, we hope to, to do in the future, but uh, we, we don't have any specific, specific plans for when, or when, what, where, or what is at the moment, but uh, we, we want to do something. Okay. Yeah. So after this tour with Goblins, uh, do you have any other future plans, sir? Yeah, we're, um, we're going back to Norway and uh, continue working on our uh, next album. Okay. We, we have already started working on, and uh, yeah, we we have some shows with Epica coming up in uh, January. So we're just we're gonna do some shows with them in uh, in Holland. Um, and as for myself, I will go on vacations in January <laughs> finally for the first time in ten years. And uh, yeah, we are considering different uh, things now regarding the album, but uh, we need to find also a solution for for the label situation, because we are still signed to label records, but, uh, you know, we, uh, we don't seem to be working on the same page uh, lately, so, uh, you know, they are uh, always complaining to us, and we are basically always complaining to them too, so, Unless we can find a solution for that, then um, maybe it's better for both parts that we try to find our, ourselves in another place to be. So, uh, but what we want to do is to uh, start recording the next album in, in April next okay. year. So that's that's what we're aiming for. We have pretty much half the album written. So yeah, so we um, we're looking to go to Somerset again in, uh, in April. So spend a couple of months. So, if everything is solved and taken care of, then uh, that's what we're in for. Uh, certain things that needs to be cleaned up before that. So, so what can we expect from the new album? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like I said, we have pretty much half the album written, but it's not like we have six songs 100% mm. finished, you know. we have probably material for 12, 13, 14 songs already, but it's not completed, you know, with, uh, with orchestration, with vocals, with choirs, with everything. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's too early to say, like, but it, it won't be, uh, it won't be uh, something completely different. But uh, I think it will be uh, an album in, in tra Trail of Tears tradition, it will be, We'll have the basis of the sound. We'll have the, the things that people will recognize, but probably with some some other things, uh, you know, shoved in there. So. Excellent. Well, good luck for the future and good luck for tonight. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Thank you.